Hello everyone, it's David here with your post-match reaction video after Rangers did a win. Yes, uh, we defeated St Mirren by three goals to nil today in Paisley. It was a good win, so say that first out. It doesn't change anything. Anyone who thinks that, that that's all the situation better and that all the problems are solved on that, I think is a little bit mad. But still, you... You know, you have to take them uh, when you're playing the way we've been playing and when things have been going the way things have been going because it's been oh, awful for certainly since the start of the season. And I think a lot of us were going into this with a wee bit of trepidation because other than the fact that we're Rangers and we'll always be favourites for a match like this, St Mirren have clearly played better than we have so far in the league this season. They're a very well-drilled side, you could see that. They work hard, they're well-coached. Um, which is not something you could say about us very often. So it was going to be a challenge, and especially given the mood everyone was in, then we needed a response from the players. We got it in terms of results and the odd moment of play, but the old issues are still there. Of course they are. They weren't going to be magically fixed overnight. A new manager will, will look at that and he will realise this Rangers team plays too slow. This Rangers team far too often becomes very passive and quite happy to sit back and recycle the ball among the midfield and the, the central defenders. And we don't hurt teams often enough. But today, with a wee bit of luck, a wee bit of good fortune, we were able to get the start we needed and, and go on and complete the task. Four changes to the side that played the other night. As I mentioned on here the night before, I had a drop more than that. I knew it was unrealistic. I knew it wasn't going to happen. But it was good to see Zach Lovelace get a start. And uh, it was Zach who set up the first goal indirectly by doing something we don't do enough, which is he got the ball wide, drove to the byline. I have no idea why we don't do this more often. It's still a great tactic in football. It doesn't matter what modern tactics come in. And we can see the goal like that, it seems, every bloody week. So try it more. He gets to the byline, turns his man inside out, puts a cross across for Abdallah Seema, who's coming in at the back post. But Ryan Strain, the St Mirren defender, a reaction thing, definitely, but he does lean in and reach his hand out just to get a block. I'm sure he instantly regretted it, but it, it was a penalty after a VAR check and it was a red card for anyone wondering why is it not a red card. It's because it's a deliberate handball rather than an accidental one and he's denying a goal-scoring opportunity, so he had to go. Fair play to Tav, pressure penalty, but he put it away. And then you were hoping Rangers would go on and, and you know put the game to bed early. Should have done just before half-time. Keeper had already made a great save from a Goldson header from a corner. But after a lovely bit of play with substitute Ross McCausland nodding the ball down for Nico Raskin, he should have scored, but he put it straight at the keeper. Um, I think if he'd just taken a wee moment, composed himself, he would have noticed that the, the bottom near-hand corner was wide open. But anyway, he didn't, and we were uh, only one up at the break. The first 25 minutes of the second half is everything that's been wrong with the Angels this season. In a game where you want to take the game by the scruff of the neck and go and attack and put it to bed, we don't. We settle into that. Lundstrom to Goldson to Suter to back again out wide and then back in the same pattern repeats. That suited St Mirren. They were quite happy to give us control of the game in that area. You need to do things that the opposition don't want you to do. Make them play in places they don't want to play. Make them turn and face their own goal. We weren't doing enough of that. And of course, the nerves were jangling right up until we got the second. And when we did, it was quality. Lovely move. Ends with Nico Raskin bursting into the box. Something we need to see more from him, incidentally. He does show composure this time. Slips it to Abdallah Seema. And he puts it away for 2-0. And Seema has been good... You know, we have to say that he, he's not the most, uh, shall we say, beautiful footballer in terms of his style. But he's effective. That's eight goals already this season in a front line that has been awful. So I think that says everything. I think also something that says was Zach Lovely starting and then Ross McCausland coming on for him when he got injured. That uh, a statement to Dessers and to Lammers. Dessers did get on and missed a good chance. He looks totally devoid of any confidence whatsoever. But there was time for a third and what a beauty it was from James Tavernier. Catching a, a rebound from his own shot and thundering it into the top corner. So look, I'd have taken any win before the game, 3-0, all good. Um, nobody's fooled that that's has turned any sort of corner or anything like that. A new manager still has a big job in his hand, but we can at least go away for the international break, regroup, get the new manager in and hopefully get started. Place needs change still and hopefully a new guy can bring it. Thanks for listening to me. I'll talk to you again after the Hibs game in two weeks. Until then, take care everybody. Bye-bye.